Okay, so here are the engine cases all complete and painted and ready to be put back together again. So I've painted them with the correct silver, which I will uh, uh, show you in a minute. But um, after I get the engine together, I will probably repaint them again, fog over them once they're back together again. And, uh, you know, in case there's any dirt or grease or fingerprints or oil or anything like that on them after we get the engine back together again. So anyway, as you can see, they turned out very, very nice. Again, a lot different than they were when I first took them apart. So anyway, uh, I just use a high temperature engine paint, uh, silver or aluminum. Uh, I think in this case it's it's called a dull or a flat aluminum and any uh, any paint that you get that is an engine high heat paint 500 degrees minimum uh, will work and you just want to make sure that it's uh, a flat color and not high gloss or anything like that because they they had a satin finish from the factory so this is about as close as you can get to the factory finish. So again, as you can see, the engine cases turned out really, really nice. So I'm very happy with the result. So now that the engine cases are all finished and ready to go, now we have to start thinking about how we start putting the engine back together again. And obviously the first thing you have to do is install the crank and the, uh, the primary and cam chains and the oil pump. Now I've been waiting for some parts. Uh, as you recall in the previous video, the, uh, the pickup tube that, that I took out of the engine was broken on the side. So I had to order another one. This is a used one, but it's in perfect condition. So I got that. And then I bought a brand new screen, which has nice uh, flexible rubber on it, unlike the other one, which was all dry rotted and cracked. And so now the screen will go on to the pickup tube like that. And then you uh, bolt it back onto the oil pump, which, it, uh, as you recall in a previous video, I rebuilt the oil pump. So the oil pump is ready to go. And I got the, the new cam to cam uh, cam chain. And I got the new primary chain, which is here. And then these are two used primary chains. One of them came out of the engine that we just tore down. And the other one I had from another engine. But I wanted to show you the difference between the old ones and the new ones. Now, the old ones, if you, if you stack this new one on top of the old one, it seems to line up perfectly. So you kind of think to yourself, well, maybe it's not stretched or whatever. But if you'll notice, the old ones are pressed together like this with no problem. But on the new one, if you press it, it bounces back. So you can't, it, it won't stay together. It bounces back. Whereas on these, they just kind of stick together. So that tells me they're stretched a little bit. Even though they line up perfectly, you can see they just kind of hold together. Again, this one is nice and stiff, snaps back. So even if it's just a little tiny bit off, it could make a difference. So, uh, you know, these things aren't cheap. You know, this thing was over $100, and this one was, I don't know, probably 50 or 60. And I'm waiting right now for the main cam chain that goes from the crank up to the cams. And that one was over $100, but it's twice as long as this one. 
this one this one spans you know between the two cams and then the other one goes from the cam down to the crank so unfortunately I can't install the crank until I get that chain now it's due in tomorrow so if I get it tomorrow then I can start putting the engine together uh, tomorrow or the next day so here in the next couple of days uh, you know I'll have a video on installing the crank and these chains but in the meantime you know I can install you know all of the new uh, bearings for both the, the, the rods and the crank or the main bearings so I'll go ahead and install those in the in the uh, engine cases and then uh, when I get that other chain then we can go ahead and start installing the uh, the crank and then in the meantime I can put the oil pump back in and uh, you know we can get started on a couple things so in the next video I'll be showing you the beginning stages of putting the engine back together again So that's going to be it for this video. It's a short one. Um, anyway, like I said, tomorrow I will hopefully have that second cam chain that I need to get started on, on uh, getting the engine back together again. But in the meantime, um, thank you for watching. And again, please subscribe. It really helps uh, support the channel. And it'll, it will uh, allow me to do future videos on a lot of the different bikes that I have so and I'm anxious to get started on the 1100F as well so uh, again thank you for watching please subscribe and share and hit the bell after you hit the subscribe button because then you'll be notified of future videos so and uh, please leave comments if you have any and uh, I welcome all comments and answer them all so thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one, which will be tomorrow or the next day. Okay, thanks.